right you guys in with the new and out with the old this is my new bike you guys will see a first ride coming up I got the key right here but right now we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of them now this actually looks like a lower seat height that's interesting the new bike obviously it's got the nice round headlight and it's LED compared to the halogen ones on this old bike and if you notice the the, uh, the fender on the front goes all the way back on the old bike and it's only the front on the on the new one uh, they did in fact forget to uh, where are the hand guards but it's okay that's easy to get and so performance should be identical on these and you can see it's my favorite colors Ooh. The motor actually looks a little darker too on the new one. Let's see, let's look at the brakes. Brakes look identical on those. And range should be identical. Let's look at the, the tail lights here. Now this one was a halogen tail light and it has underneath a thing that goes out and illuminates the license plate. This one should be LED on there. Let me actually just measure it against my hip here. Okay, I'm gonna walk over to this one. Yeah, they should be identical seat heights. And let's look. Shocks are the exact same on there. Motor's the exact same. Uh, the rear sprocket is the exact same on there. But the big thing uh, that I'm looking forward to is, so on this one, the instrument cluster obviously is the old analog one like this. You can see right there, but the new one, such a nice TFT display. Oh man, that looks so cool. Six miles on the bike when I got it. Mirrors look identical to each other. Actually, let's let's look at the headlights compared to each other real quick. Oh my gosh, that LED is so bright on the new one versus the halogen. I mean, the halogen, it does its job, but it's not the brightest. And let's look at the tail lights. Yep, that's definitely an LED tail light. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. And license plate light. I can't tell on that one. Oh my gosh, this is such such a nice bike. So the turn signals look like they are still incandescent. But other than that. Everything else is LED. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Here's your, this is the only side-by-side -side comparison on YouTube that I know of. Tires, the, the tire sizes on them should be the exact same as well. They should be all 17s, let's see. I know that one's a 17. Let's look at this one. Yep, 17 on there. This one is... How wide is it? 140, and this one is also a 140 wide. And there's a puppy. <laughs> so, one thing I really like about the new one is... See how the batteries are exposed there? They get the sunlight, they get the heat in them. That's not that good. So this one has like a guard over the side here. Helps protect the battery. And they do have the little heat exchanger on the front. Uh, they do both have the bash plates on that. That old one looks like it has more ground, ground clearance, but it's okay. Other than that, you guys, everything is identical, except for, obviously, the options that I ordered on there. I will have to get some handguards for this, because that's one option that I do really like. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so excited to ride this bike. <laughs> it should be pretty good. But there you guys go. There is the first on YouTube, first side-by-side -side comparison of a FXS versus the new version of it, the FXE. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments which one you like better. Because, I don't know, they, they smacked it out of the park with the new one. So, the, with the new one, actually, we'll go over this too. These plastics right here, the old one's kind of square. It's easy for storing stuff on top of the bike there when you ride it. The new one is more rounded and it's, it's all paint. Like, this is obviously paint too, but it's still plastic. This... You can see it kind of weathers in the sunlight. This one I think will stand up to the sunlight a lot better. And wow, okay. Here's another comparison. Look look how long the, the tail section is on the old one. Look how long the tail section is on the old one compared to... It's not that long on the new one. So this is, I don't know. It's, it's more of a... I would say it's more of like a... What are those called? The race in the dirt? I forget what it's called. But it looks that the style, I guess, is more like that. And okay, I should have. I'm not gonna do it right now, but right here it should have the thing where I can plug in the quick charger. And the horn is still good. Same location to plug in the charger to charge the bike. And everything just looks sleeker on the new one. Like the the guy that designed these did a very good job on this design. I know for a fact, I looked, nobody sells aftermarket plastics, so if I had an option to, I would have upgraded it to black and red, but this new design is so perfect. I don't even need to do anything. I'm excited to learn how that TFT display works. And of course, I'm going to uh, create my own mode in there. But there you guys go. That is all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know which bike you like better. And stay tuned next week for the first ride on my new Zero FXE. If you really enjoyed the video, share it with a friend. Share it with anybody who you know is getting a zero. They still do make these, but it only comes in the 3.6. You still can upgrade it like I did to the 7.2. Anyway guys, share share this video with your friends who are interested in zeros, because this is the only one on the internet. Side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the FXS versus the FXE. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Later.